Hi folks, my name's Sean Arajo, and today I'm going to perform for you my piece entitled G A Toe. This is from my 2016 album Constructive Rest, and it's written for flute, guitar, bass, drums, and percussion. I'll be doing the flute part live, of course, and the rest of the instruments you hear in the background are all, were also recorded by me, and I'm going to use quite a few extended techniques in the flute part, so stick around after the song and I'll explain a few of the sounds that you heard me do. Now let's talk about some of those sounds that you heard in this piece. 
first thing I'm going to talk about a little bit is called the residual tone. And I think this is one that's actually named fairly accurately. It's the leftover sound that accompanies every flute note. So it, it's something that you hear more when you're a beginner and you, you know, learn to take it out of your sound, but it's never going to go away completely. You can hear it. If I, if I play a high note, you'll hear a lower air sound in there a little bit. So if you take that flute note out and you'll be able to just hear the residual tone. And you can move them around on, on different pitches, which you heard me do during the piece. And it's got a really huge dynamic range. You can play these really super softly and really explosively loud. And it's easy to transition between the two, so it's a fun technique to, to play. Next thing I'd like to talk about is singing and playing, which again is very accurately named. It's pretty self-explanatory. In this case, though, I'm uh, in this piece, I use it really at, to kind of reinforce the flute tone. I'm not doing anything independent with my flute uh, and my voice. I'm just kind of singing in either unison or octaves, and it gets kind of a gritty quality because I'm not singing most of my notes very well in tune. But that's what I'm going for. It's it's almost like turning a distortion pedal on on your guitar. Uh, it gets you that just instantly different, unique sound. And the very last thing I'd like to talk about is the very last note in the piece, which you saw me had to fiddle, had to fiddle with my flute a little bit. Um, the piece ends on a low B flat, which is not supposed to be able to be produced on this instrument. But if you pull your head joint out all the way and, um, and lip it down a little bit more, you can get that low B flat to come out. And, and I think it's a really interesting way to end the piece. Thank you for watching my video. And if you want to hear more about me, hear more of my music, you can visit my website, go to the links at the bottom of the page, or just Google me. I'm fortunate enough to have a unique name. There are no other Shauna Rajos out there making music. So Google me and you'll find more of my stuff. Thanks again.